Welcome to a startling revelation from the depths of our oceans, and possibly hinting at the fate of our own brains under the impact of climate change. Today, we're diving into a scenario where, by the year 2100, atmospheric CO2 levels could dramatically alter not just the environment, but the very mechanism of how creatures, including us, perceive the world. Imagine being a clownfish in the future ocean. These fish are known for their vibrant orange and white colors, but more crucially, they rely on tiny structures in their ears called autoliths to navigate their watery world. Sound waves travel through water, vibrating these autoliths and helping the fish interpret their surroundings. However, with increased carbon dioxide levels, these autoliths grow abnormally large due to ocean acidification, causing the fish to misinterpret sound signals. Instead of fleeing from danger, they swim towards it, like a distracted pedestrian stepping into traffic. This phenomenon isn't just a quirky trait of marine life, it's a serious indicator of how rising CO2 levels can disrupt sensory systems. Research led by Hong Young Yan simulated future acidic conditions, finding that clownfish exposed to these conditions failed to avoid predator cues. This isn't solely about oversized autoliths. The real concern is whether this affects their brain's ability to process these signals correctly. Further studies, like those by Philip Munday, suggest that increased bicarbonate in water due to higher CO2 levels might be interfering directly with neurons themselves. Normally, neurons function through a delicate balance of electrical charges, but with altered ion balances this can flip, turning inhibitory signals into excitatory ones, leading to potentially disastrous miscommunications within the What does this mean for us? If fish brains can be hijacked by changes in the ocean's chemistry, what about human brains exposed to altered environments? This isn't just about wildlife, it's a window into our future, underlining the urgent need for climate action to preserve not just our planet's ecosystems, but potentially our own cognitive integrity. So next time we discuss climate policies and environmental conservation, remember, it's not just about saving the planet. It's also about preserving the intricate biological conversations in our heads that define our reality. Stay tuned for more insights and updates right here.